nice to meet you. You know, you always reminded me a little bit, you probably get this, Robert Downey Jr. I, 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 yeah. I've heard that a couple times, yeah. Yes, and I worked with him, and you know, I love him dearly. He's an, a major talent and a very kind soul. I think if you're going to get compared to somebody, that's, that's, not a, that's not a bad comparison. I will take it. Yeah, you've got you've got your oh, of course your own unique look. Well, thank but I you. can't believe our paths have never crossed. How is that? Never, you know, I, I was telling uh, I was telling the, your Brandon. producer, yeah, Brandon, who's lovely by the way. He is. That, uh, that I, you know, I've always had a little thing for you. Um, you know, you, it's true. Right? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, why wouldn't he tell me? I, that? I don't know. I think it was a surprise. Brandon, but, you know, a girl needs oh, an ego boost <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> No, you know, it's been a long month of press and stuff, and I was kind of done on on the uh, on the weekend. I was like, I can't do anything else, and and, and uh, I was last on and, your list. And and they called and said you, and and I was like, oh, how can I say no? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I Where are you from? I'm from oh, Seattle. Seattle, right? Yeah, yeah Seattle. I read that. Yeah, yeah. And do you have any brothers and sisters? I have a sister, and then I've got uh, I got some stepbrothers and stepsisters. But was anybody in the business? No, no, no. So no. how did this all work out for you? It was it was completely uh, it was an accident. Uh, I I helped a friend move down to L.A. I was in Seattle, kind of. Uh, 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 doing artwork. I, I would have little art shows and sell paintings. Paint? Yeah, yeah. I'd oh sell, my God, I'd he's my dream man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a friend of mine was, who was an actor was moving down to L.A. and I drove the U-Haul down and uh, I met someone who was like, oh, you should try this. And, and the next thing you know, I, I was a, a killer pimp in a Roger Corman movie and that was... Uh, you are the perfect man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, you, Roger Corman was your first yeah, movie? Oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, that's it's a, pretty it's cool. a heck of an introduction. Roger Corman was this guy uh, yeah. who a lot of people started. Uh, Nicholson mm -hmm. started there, uh, but I, I did. Uh, you know, he'd do like 50 movies a year. Right, I, everybody I, like learned their craft. Sure, from him, sure. Yeah. And, and his budget of like five dollars a movie, and it was <laughs> right. it was it was a really cool way to kind of get in and figure out what the heck was going on. So and, as things were going along for you, like were your parents encouraging you, or they're like, what do you? You know, my family had a hard time with it at first because I was a nurse. And I was like going on auditions on my lunch. Oh hour. yeah, so you had a real job then. Exactly. Um, yeah, my parents, I you know, they'll argue this till they turn blue to this day. But I, they were not happy about this career choice. You know, twenty some odd years ago. Sure. They thought I was a ridiculous idiot. Oh, but, is that your mom? Uh, that is mom. Oh, There's oh, dad. Oh, look how cute your family is. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 now, by the way, you know they'll say that they were behind this 120 percent way back when. When I, when I, I, you know, the truth is, I think they were both like, "What are you doing?" Well, are they having fun with this? I mean, do they go to a premiere like Watchmen? Yeah. Is it too scary for them that movie? No, no. My my, uh, I took my my. I, you know, they they I alternate uh, movies. They, you know, mom went to P.S. I Love You premiere. Uh, uh, dad, I went. To, dad went to Watchmen. Oh, that was good. That was a good way to divvy it yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it worked out perfectly. But uh, they both have seen it. They have Warner Brothers set up a special screening in Seattle for my mom to go to. Wow. Uh, like simultaneously with uh, with what was going on here with Watchmen. So that's pretty. Uh, uh, they, they loved it. They, you know, the best part of, of, of having any success, I think, is kind of being able to share it with your family. I agree. You yeah. Know? yeah. And I watched your show one day, and your mom was, uh, you know, <laughs> via the telephone, and was, oh. uh, which was hilarious. <laughs> yes. She, she was she's awesome. quite a character. Yeah. And seeing that she's going to be your mother-in-law, I'm glad that you're <laughs> <laughs> My mom loves you as well. Oh, good. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> so were you a were you a troublemaker as a kid? I mean, sometimes actors have like this history of being the class clown or you yeah, know, being I do. creative, you know, in their imagination or in, and making things happen, you know. Yeah, like I was that. a little bit of an idiot. I mean, I think <laughs> idiot. Oh, yeah, How did yeah. you get to idiot from the question I just asked? <laughs> I was a troublemaker. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where that's where I went. <laughs> um, yeah, I got you know, I was really good up until I think I graduated high school and then and then, uh, and then I started, you know, having having some mishaps. I guess. Uh, uh, Did you ever like? I mean, was it like innocent stuff? Uh oh. Well, well, I, mean, I mean, mostly. I always thought it was very innocent, but I don't know if the law saw it that way. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know. We got Ti coming out. Maybe you guys should stay here together. You can share a story. We well, we're gonna chat more with uh, Jeffrey, and we're gonna meet his dog when we come back. Yay. We'll Look at her. She
she's so cute. She's 12 years old, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. she's obviously had a lot of work done. She's. <laughs> <laughs> she's like that Barbie. She, she is awfully. Uh, she, she looks like a baby. Oh. Now wait, didn't she just? Oh, look at her eyebrows. See, Jeffrey and I were just talking about this. Movie, they have these know. eyebrows, so when they're when they're asleep from far away, it still looked like they were awake. Because because she's such, she's such a good do guard dog. Uh, oh, is she? No, 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 no she's not a million either. years. Uh, she's, she's ridiculously nice. Will uh, you tell us about how you rescued her? Yeah, I love yeah. The story. Uh, I was walking down uh, the boardwalk in, at Venice Beach, and uh, some kids had had uh, had probably like two litters of puppies in a cardboard box that were maybe a day to three days old, and, and uh, she was at the very bottom of the box, and, and she couldn't open her eyes yet. Uh, and it literally could fit in the palm of my hand, and they were like, give me $300, uh, and I was like, I got 20 bucks on me, you know, give me the one that's not going to make it through the day. And uh, I took her to the vet, and the vet was like, I don't know, man, she's, she's too young, she shouldn't be away from her mom, so... A bottle fed her for a month, and, oh and, uh, and she used to kiss her way around, which is how she got her name Bizu. It means kiss in mm -hmm. French. And and uh, and twelve years later, you know, here here she uh, here she is. And, and uh, twelve years you've had yeah, with her. I yeah. mean, what a history share. <laughs> Yeah, she's, uh, she's something else. And she doesn't like it when you go away, right? She hates it. She I know, my hates dog it. is the same way. Oh, God, as soon as she sees a suitcase comes out, you think the world was ending. And, and uh, she, you know, she'll lay on top of the suitcase yeah, and won't let me pack. And, and like, like still today, my Aww. suitcase is out. I just got back in town, what, yesterday or day before. And the way she avoids my suitcase, is, it's like there's a, like a bad animal in the house. I mean, she'll, she walks 20 feet away and just kind of glares at it. Um, <laughs> Um, so, so when they called yes and they said you want to bring your dog, I was like yes because you know as soon as she sees a black town car, you know she thinks I'm leaving, go to the airport. And I know. I literally packed the night before I packed, and I put yeah. the suitcase outside along the side of the house so that I can leave the next day. That's I see. I haven't thought about that. I literally packed five minutes before I go. It doesn't matter how long I'm leaving for. So I pack horribly. <laughs> I usually have a hundred pairs of socks and one pair of underwear for whatever reason that is whenever I go out of town because I pack so bad because I'm worried she's going to catch me. Oddly enough, oh, forget it. I won't even say that. Oh, look at her. That is so ridiculous. She's right? like a little oil painting. <laughs> oh, you're so, was she excited to come today or was she, she like, was. oh, no. She's so happy Social. that she be hanging out. Uh, just that I'm home. You know, she just had, she fell down the stairs oh, yeah, a couple months her. ago. Yeah. And uh, I took her to the vet, and the vet found four tumors in her. Uh, one as big as my two fists put together, and it had wrapped around her sciatic nerve, and so they thought that she was going to lose her leg at, at best. And uh, I found this amazing surgeon who uh, managed to save her life and get it all out, and, and now she's, you know, chasing bunnies around, and everything's fine. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. <laughs> You have a very kind soul, Jeffrey. Oh, well, you do. How, I, I know. I mean, come on. <laughs> I know, but still, it's a commitment not only to take a dog, but to take the time to nurture her and, and keep her, and that's pretty fantastic. Oh, that's well. a, I think that might be the most attractive quality. That oh. I'm serious. I mean, it's a nurture. It is so. It's really sweet. I know. I know. It's, I don't know what I'm doing without my little Charlie. Okay, now. To make him even more attractive, guys, you brought something for Bonnie's basement. As you all know, I used yeah. to be an oncology nurse uh, in Chicago, and we're raising money for the scientists and the doctors that I used to work for at the Robert H. Lurie Cancer Center. What did you bring us? Oh, uh, these are uh, Watchmen action figures, believe it or not. Uh, we should bring Barbie back out here and I could show her a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> these are great. And Jeffrey, you're going to sign these, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, Absolutely. I can't thank you enough for being here today. Thank really, you for having a me. A pleasure to meet you. Watchmen is in theaters now. Thank you so much. Thank I you. I really appreciate Thank it. You. We'll be right back.